Let me tell you who we are. I mean, in terms of who, who we are and how we are, and probably this will be useful for the teachers here. And uh, let me tell you, I mean, I have put students, I mean, you, who attend this, of course, into area. And uh, the people are like that. From administration, we have one person. From art and craft, we have one person. From mathematics, we have one person. From biology, we have four people. From geology, we have three people. From physics, we have one person. From math, we have two people. From drawing, we have four people. From communication, we have one person. From technology, we have six people. From economy, we have one person. From English, we have 12. From German, we have one. From music, we have two. From physical education, we have four. From technology, we have six. From mass, this is our, the areas that I want to involve in the course, right? I mean, the areas where you belong. And from the region, from the Europeans, the top communities uh, in this course, we have six people from Andalusia, we have six from Madrid, we have one from Catalonia, we have one from Cantabria, we have two from Extremadura, two from the Canary Islands, we have two from Valencia, one from Galicia, one from La Rioja, two from Castilla León, five from, sorry, four from Castilla León, did I say four? Four from Castilla León, five from Castilla La Mancha, and two from Aragón. This is what we have, right? So I just uh, someone asked me, I wanna know the data and I don't know. So please have this, right? Regarding the session we are going to have right now, this is the outline, I mean there is a previous slide that you can say I don't know why. But this is the session we are going to have right now, and this is how I structure the session. And I would like you to know. Many of you guys met here in practice around cooperative learning. I confess this morning that I was really convinced that I wanted to go down. But in the end, I thought it would be a very good idea just to propose a way where you can, that you can use so that you can have other all students together to implement different techniques. So that's the main aim of the session. Then, many of you the way to design a clear cooperative learning activity. Okay? So you will worry. But I think it would be better than to work, considering the time and the temperature, that if you're just right there, just listen to me and probably get bored. So, let's go. And this is how I distributed the time, more or less, uh, of the session. We are going to have 10 minutes, I mean, from theoretical sessions. I hope you didn't uh, have much time during the last, so that you don't sleep by now. And uh, I will deliver the session in a I mean, uh, theoretical way for only 10 minutes. Then you will be preparing for your play activity. You will then have time for, I mean, designing your play uh, in your work for your play activity. And then for pleasure learning, and then we will have 30 minutes for presentations and debate. I want to listen to you. And probably the teacher here will be wanting to listen to you. Right? So, let's start, right? What do you know about cooperative learning? How about if I say, give me your idea of cooperative learning? And I ask, Miranda. Uh, Miranda. Miranda. I remember your name. Can you give me a definition of cooperative learning? What do you think is cooperative learning? Uh, is learning is uh, better. Very good. <laughs> 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 and and taking into account all the diversity or the, uh, the people who are working in it. Very good. The person next to you, can you remind me your name? Rosa. Rosa. Can you give me a definition of how a is learning if it's different from that from your answer? No. I mean, I said it's okay, but uh, I think that um, 
because we will see that the more cooperation among the member group members, the better the activity will be. In competitive, interdependence is negative because if I'm helping others, other people and I will lose. And individualist, there is no interdependence, right? In task division, I mean, it's very important that we use incremental policy when you divide tasks according to different group members. So, these students must perform a different task in whole terms in general. And all tasks must be Sorry, you turn off the lights. I don't know how to do that, but I will do my best. That is to 
want to control. So, sometimes it's said that collaborative learning is more focused on adult students, students who are I mean, probably 18 years old, old and uh, cooperative learning is more suitable for students who are below 18 years old. Okay? So, collaborative is more British, cooperative is more American, and there's these are features. The instructor uh, behaves the authority in the group of students, this is collaborative. The instructor keeps the authority, this is cooperative. Groups are in, usually given complex and open-ended tasks, whereas in cooperative learning, the tasks are very well defined and they are very close. You need to go back and this is the end of your task, etc. 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 So the student provides extra material, the teacher is the one who provides materials, etc. Et this is just to show that when in cooperative learning, you keep the control about design, task design, classroom activities, the procedure, the materials, assessment, etc. Whereas in collaborative learning, is a teacher, who, sorry, the student, the one who decides on material, task, accomplishment, etc. Right. So we have four organizational <coughs> structures, depending on the task, depending on the authority, depending on the goal of the activity of the group, and depending on the group. Okay? The reward we haven't discussed that so far, the reward is also very important. Because if the students do not see benefit, whatever, in the end of the task, it will be more difficult. So we entail them to convince them that they need to do something, right? So we will see. What are the teachers who me all that? Because sometimes when I'm putting for person learning, my colleagues say, if students are working, when I give them the task, what should I do? Teachers is very teacher is a very important figure in all this because Teacher needs to teach students to cooperate. It's not easy. Teacher observes groups and students. Go from the classroom to see if there are difficulties, problems, etc. Questions. They solve problems and also teachers are there to rework and teach students to sell <coughs> Did you know there is a very interesting uh, research that says that when the teacher, the teacher, the teacher assess the value of the student, the markings are higher than when students evaluate have a peer evaluation. That's very interesting. I mean, students are colleagues, so as to say, among themselves, but we teachers are instead, right? So, what is this all about? We are going to go the objective and the learning and the goal is the same, one is learning. And we are going to go from base group, based on effectiveness, to expert groups, based on individual member groups. Okay? So we are going to establish different, two different types of groups, base groups and expert groups. Also, important, before we start, set if you want students to move around, say that. If you want them to speak English, say that. If you want them to evaluate, say that. Say that, say that, say that right? The students can also help you set the rules. No problem with that. You can't agree the rules with them. The rules that speak have visible and clear. Everybody needs to have a clear idea of what are the rules in your activities. And you are the manager and the controller of the group. Keep your thoughts. Okay? That's it. So, what are the three main elements for comparison learning? The groups. They need to be between three and six people. No fewer, no more than six, right? No fewer than three, no more than six. The learning should be a structure. 
based on two things, task division and the frequency of the task. And you need to establish a reward for both group and individual learning. These are the basics of co-operative learning. So let me give you an example of co-operative learning and this is just an example as I said before. If you like it, you can use it. If you don't like it, forget it. I have designed an activity for second year of baccalaureate of bachillerato and it's based on the book Eat, Pray, Walk by Elizabeth Gilbert and I have based my cohesive learning activity from base group to expert group. Okay? This is the first template. In English, in the subject English, we don't have 
content to us to say we are not biology, we are not statistics, we are not natural sciences, we are not mathematics, we are only English. It's language. So, the novel, the literature, gives you the opportunity of implementing some <coughs> content on the activity, right? Then the label is the second year of collaborator of the city level. And then the goals. I have tried to mix the four C's of three, probably that's very, very familiar term here. Content, cognition, culture, and communication, right? The four C's. Where are they? Look at that. To improve sharing, share learning, that's communication. To foster critical thinking, that's cognition. To develop social competencies, that's again communication. To learn vocabulary, that's language, that's communication. And to learn content, that's culture and content. So with, I mean, those simple goals, I have tried to combine the four things. Okay? Culture, cognition, communication, and content. Okay? Some content. Literature and some geography. You will say how. My parameters, I have designed, designed, sorry, this activity for 25 students, which is an odd number. It's a number not very common because it would be very nice to design this activity for 28. But I didn't want. I wanted to do it for 25 students. As the average, you know, Spanish average class is between 25 and 27, sometimes 30. My groups will be high heterogeneous. I want my groups to be diverse because in cooperative learning we make advantage of diversity. And finally, I will plan my activity for three sessions, one hour each. So it will be three hours in the end. Okay? Yeah? Good. As I said before, three hours, three sessions, one hour each. My group, groups will be heterogeneous according to the following criteria. The national league, we have students from abroad. It's not uncommon to have students from Romania, Morocco, China, etc. in our classrooms nowadays. So my groups will be heterogeneous according to their nationality or to the language level. I don't want to join in a single group the students who are the best in English and then students whose English is the poorest. Mm -hmm. I want to mix them in heterogeneous groups. According also to their aptitudes, where are the best abilities? Where, what, is, what are they good at? Okay? And the attitudes. Do they like English? Do they enjoy when they come to my class? Or do they come just because they have to? This is a this is the structure of the book. What I have done is to design four groups for 25 students. Each group will have six members. But I said I have 25, did I? Hmm? So if you multiply four by six, it gives you 24, isn't it? So what do I do with the extra students? It will be my helper. My personal helper. The one who helps me controlling the group. Who is the person in the group who is not working? Where is the difficulty in one specific group? Where can I go? Because I mean, I'm only one person and there are four groups in the classroom, sometimes six groups. So if I have a helper, that person can help me going around and identifying difficulties in the groups. Okay? Another important thing, students will be numbered. So I said, you are group one, student one. You are group one, student two. You are group one, student three. And you are group one, student four. Each student will be numbered according to the group and to the membership. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, six. Two, one, two, two, etc. Right? What are the topics they are going to develop in each group? They are going to be continents. Because I know, probably you have read it. I mean, it describes the journey of a person who has, I mean, she has a divorce, and she goes around four continents, exploring herself, trying to find herself. So, 
The students are going to go work in groups of the continents, Europe, Africa, America, and Asia. Right? So the student will devote themselves to one continent. Right? The task is like, what do they have to do? They have to write and to do a presentation on an illustrated travel diary on Elizabeth's journey around the four continents. Each group will be focusing on one specific continent, Europe, Asia, America, and Africa. So they will describe the journey that Elizabeth has made around this continent. will be heterogeneous. For example, in this task, I have identified different levels of English. I, will, I know my students. You know your students. You know their level of English, biology, mathematics, arts and crafts, or economics, I don't care. So you know the level. So you need to design tasks so that they fill those at their level. So in this case, the important thing is established according to the level of English. So, the best students probably will be taking care of reviewing the person. Do you make the groups or you let them to, to you, you do it, make it? I make the groups. <coughs> because I need to decide who is going to be in the That's why it's called therapy, not collaborative. And you also give the roles. And these are the roles. But you give to some. Yeah. And the group doesn't decide. I decide the role that each one will take. So the most abundant students will be the reviewers, the one who controls the process. Then I will have journalists. Who are the journalists? The ones who write the diaries. Then I have word finders. Who are the word finders? The one who helps the journalists write by finding specific words, specific structures, specific ideas. Then I have monitors, the one who control the link between writing and drawing. 
way. Monitors. Then I have illustrators. Probably those who have a lower level English, but they are very good at drawing. And then I have math readers. The poor level of English are those who can read the map, design and scenery in Africa and Europe. Okay? I said, can I the same to the viewers and the monitors? Yeah. The reviewers are more. The ones who control the, that the process is going well, the structures are good, the vocabulary is well chosen, etc. And the monitors are the ones who control that the link between the writing and the drawing is going well. It's difficult. I know. It's difficult. I don't get the task because you are speaking about the book and then you are asking them to do like a because he doesn't travel to Africa or at least I don't remember or Italy she was only different places. Yeah, but in Italy she traveled along different places. Yeah. So where in Italy did she go? What did she do in those places? And so the journalist what should he do? They are, she she knew or she's writing what she did and how she felt in those places. Oh okay. Like a summary. Okay. So I didn't get what was the task. Yeah? Okay, now yes. So, the final job, the good work, is to do a presentation on this, on the journeys they made, she made, the little bit. So, in Italy, in Africa, in India, wherever she went, you need to draw a map where she went and what she thought about that, where were the feelings, how did she feel, how was the process of her divorce going on. And we just want to do Every member or does every member of the group need to read the book or the part of the book? Or is this only for the journalists or the viewer? I mean, I don't know if reading is a word. The thing here, the important, important word here is dependence. I mean, the reviewer can't do his or her job if the journalist doesn't do his. The word finder can't do their job without the journalist. The monitors can't do their job without the work finding the illustrators. Do you know what I mean? I mean, every task is linked to other. But what I mean is, do, uh, does everybody need to know about the, the book? That's it. Yeah. So they need to agree? Because the map readers, readers don't need to know the, what is going on. They only need to know what is the book. But until the map reader doesn't design the mood, the illustrator can draw and the journalist can write where this starts. Do you know what I mean? Okay, got it. Every class is linked to the others. They can't work, they can work in isolation in the expert group, but they can't work in the book work, in the, the base book, until they are together. Right. First of all, they need some time to discuss and uh, okay. That's it. That's why I said before that they need more space. <coughs> That's it. They need to see, to review their task, mm -hmm. they need to establish the logic okay. and the timing, and they need to have some time to do that. Mm -hmm. That's the first step. Okay? Then, this is the expert groups, established according different roles, interdependent, so they need to communicate, they need to work in groups, but not in groups, I mean they need to work cooperatively. Their task will not be accomplished unless other members are doing theirs, okay? Then, these are the tasks that they need to do. Drawing, word seeking, writing, text reviewing, map reading, and organizing and monitoring the project. This is the task attached to the rules, okay? The steps, remember the first step was this, remember? Let's go to the second, which is they were working in the base groups and they are going to split into six expert groups. The first thing we have, four groups of 
six people each. Now we have six groups of four people each. What are these? The different tasks. What are the people? The drawers, the map readers, the illustrators, the monitors. Are you following me? The journalists, etc. Right? So they, what do they have to do in their expert groups? They need to discuss the tasks given. Then they choose the best procedure to accomplish their task. Then they need to work collectively. If I am drawing a map on Asia, probably the people working on the map of Europe can help me. Drawing. If I am trying to find a word for my journalist, probably the people in the book three can help me by giving me another website of another dictionary that I didn't know. Or if I'm writing and I don't, I'm not 100% sure of it, from the grammatical structure, someone in the other group can help me. Yeah? Good. How long do I get that? Then, the next step, first, set first step, they were working in desperate groups and then they go back to their bedrooms. Okay? And they tell what they have found out in their expert groups. They tell the truth, they are all their colleagues. They plan and they design their group work. Number of pages, number of illustrations, number of structures, number of whatever the presentation they are going to use, Prezi, or they are going to use PowerPoint, whatever. Then they decide which of the list of it journey stages they will use in their own journey books. Mm -hmm. Then they will design the illustrations they will include and they will work cooperative on group based work. This is what they have to do when they come back to their base books. Okay? And then the four base groups present their illustrated travel diaries to the classroom. And they have 60 minutes. Why? Because I have four base groups. I give them 10, 10 minutes to present their work. So I give I have like three minutes extra from each group that makes 15, 12 minutes for discussion, debate, etc. Okay? So I give them planning time, working time, the second hour, and then the third hour it will be the presentation. Okay? Assessment. The fourth stage on assessment. Individual. I can ask one person in a one group, can you tell me in Europe where did the little go? And I ask the person in Africa, where did the little go in Europe? Italy. France. Right? But as a group of work, I can evaluate them on the following basis. Randomly, I ask one person in a group, for example, tell me where in Africa she went. And the answer of this person will be a task, so a marking that I will give to the whole group. So they need to decide on the correct answer, whole person. And one more clue. Don't always ask the most advantaged student in the group ask the not so funny students to make them feel that they need to work collectively to make to increase their self-confidence. Hmm? What am I evaluating the knowledge? How much did they get? The language? How did they present the communication in the group? What was expected? And the skills and the cooperation the competencies, the group, group competition, right? Cooperation, sorry. So I'm evaluating the knowledge, the content, the communication, and the skills. Your argument is the knowledge is the assessment in another uh, session. Yeah. yeah. Extra session, yeah. Extra reward, that's something they love. Reporting. Voting for the best. The student can vote on the best presentation, the ones they like. And you can use one thing such as a book to vote 
for this uh, and, and they love, they love doing that, right? So, for example, as an individual, as an individual, what is the best problem, what is the best story, what are uh, the best pages, what are the best work? As a group, what is the best constructed diary, what is the best constructed diary, what is the most complex work? Okay? So you can vote on different things and they love voting, right? Additional ideas, new sizes. For example, I don't know if you know Poxagon. Poxagon is a website where you create characters and those characters are in a story where different settings can be created and you can insert different stories. So you can use Poxagon or they can use Poxagon if you want. Mm -hmm. And you can also consider the interaction between different activities, with different subjects. Geography, mathematics, physics, where right? you can work with other teachers in your school, right? So, your time, guys. You need to choose one topic. I would like you to work with different subjects. I mean, in a group where not the 12 people from English are together, in another group where the people from economy can integrate, the person from economy can integrate, the group from German, the person from German, etc. I mean, I would, I would like that the group where it's your genius. In terms of subjects, regions, Andalusia, Canary Islands, Simadura, and Madrid, right? Also, the level. Choose the level. Secondary education, first or baccalaureate, whatever you want. And choose the goals, right? The number of students, the book, the, the, the books, etc. For your tasks, set a clear <coughs> task and your papers. <coughs> clear. So you know and I know. And the rest of us know. The group working, the number of sessions, scheduling, and the group break. I also have found that.
improve, right? Let's try and see how it works, okay? Well, let's continue. I think, sorry, I think it's working, yes? Now, so you can, not so close. Okay, now. Um, this is uh, the cooperative learning, um, the cooperative learning activity that in my team group we have prepared. Yes? And then, uh, first, firstly, I would like to start with the name of the activity to let you see what it's dealing with. Um, amazing news in English speaking countries. The main subject is about the mass media, and the content is about cultural aspects and the multidisciplinary aspects as well. The level to which is aimed at is at the fourth level of compulsory secondary education, quarto grado, and the schedule um, it is supposed uh, to be developed in six sessions. Yeah. And the main objectives that my team group have proposed are related to the knowledge of the culture of other English-speaking countries, about music, about the sport, and everything related to the culture recently, in the last month. And one of the main specific objectives is about how to be experts in statistics. Um, another one is the English and ICT applications that they can use for the development of these kind of activities to analyze and dealing with the information. And finally, another objective is to create or make up uh, the blog, the link that is connected with the newspaper that they are going to be developing. Uh, the main rules are try to speak in English all the time and not to use the Spanish. Um, and then another of the main rules is to use different kind of applications um, that we will use at the end in evaluation, such as Lino app. I don't know if you know. But that one can be very interesting before doing the final evaluation because this is the co-evaluation. Yes, it is very important for the students. And they have uh, to give ideas about the main uh, virtual posits that they have to insert. And the students, finally, they have to propose uh, the main positive aspects that they have to evaluate in every one of these activities that they have prepared in each group. Now, question. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think it's fine. Okay. Okay. No, no, but maybe. Like this better? Anyway. So we have four groups. Uh, we'll have like, uh, each group will have one different country. So each, uh, each group will look for some information about one particular newspaper from that country. And we'll try to find news related to the different subjects, which, is, which are physical education, biology, Maths, eh, arts, ICT, okay? And then will be one person will be more taking the role of a bit of a helper to help each one of these, eh, each person in the group, like each person will take care of eh, news about the sports for physical education, news about environment, whatever for biology and so on. Um, and then so the different tasks will be like first searching information for once the group are formed and so on. They will start searching for, for information and selecting the magazine or newspaper that they need to use. They will analyze and deal with this information they will find. Um, and then they will start like producing the article, the information that they were going to, to have regarding these subjects that later they are going to upload to the, to the blog. Uh, yeah. uh, later on they will do uh, a presentation in front, in front of the, the rest of the class, and that's it. And at the end, we'll do the evaluation. Uh, for the evaluation, we have thought about doing a rubric, which will include, uh, to, uh, with the rubric, we will evaluate. What? Uh, 
having the time, so at the end, the evaluation is a bit like this, okay? Yes, for having a very, a very good mark. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. We thought that, okay, like, uh, we'll evaluate the post that they're going to do in the blog, and the, uh, like the presentation that we do in class, but we also thought about if you do it with a video or if you do music, it can be like having a higher grade. Okay? Uh, and if in those news they use the Orilla accent from that country, they have like extra points. Like, okay, I have a spray, I have a spray <laughs> accent. <laughs> and also for the assessments of the assessment that the other groups are going to do of the of the other groups, they're going to use Kahoot to create a, a kind of ranking which blog they like the most, which country. Yes, that's fine. I am not sure I didn't listen to you properly. Mm -hmm. Which are the roles within each Facebook? Like, Which are the roles? The roles are uh, like the different subjects. Okay, we have one specific role, which will be a helper. Okay, and then we have like one person is going to take care of English and ICT. So meaning like we will be the main person responsible for looking for the information and finding the newspaper. And then there will be one person taking care of the sports and PE, another person taking care of music as a subject and as a topic, and so on. Your biology. So depending on so how are you going to create the expert groups from these base books? Mm -hmm. We were discussing a bit about that, like, um, it will be a bit like, you not know, swap, but that was like a small discussion I had with someone else from the group. Like, it might be that it's not so much needed that they go to a different group, because at the end, if I'm doing music news and she's doing sports uh, news, it's a bit similar. But we also thought that if I go to that uh, different group, I can see, okay, I need to write about news about cricket, for example, because maybe it's, it's big in England. And uh, you are also going to read about the cricket, maybe it's better than you choose a good rugby news or something like that, not to have the same. We okay. thought about that, like a bit of coordination. Okay, okay. Well done, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? <laughs> 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 Thank you.
four heterogeneous groups, okay, dividing the sinus way in four stages. Okay, so from the bias, from the bias to Fuenteravena, uh, uh, from Fuenteravena to Burgos, from Burgos to Astorga, from Astorga to Santiago de Compostela. Okay, there's uh, groups of six in a cooperative way, and we, we took the same roles that uh, uh, Maria Elena put in the representation. And uh, actually, we, uh, we, we, there we couldn't we didn't do much more because we were trying to to, um, to know how uh, we have to do between the base groups and the expert groups and how to divide the, the task. So we are in a little bit uh, lost about that. That's all. <laughs>